everyone. Welcome to Connect Kids. We're so glad that you're here with us today. Let's get ready to sing, dance, and celebrate Jesus in worship. You know when I'm lonely. You know when I'm sad. I know. And then you are with me. Yeah, you are with me. You know when I'm worried. trust you. Yeah, I can trust you. You don't want perfection. You just want my best. And when my mind is racing, you will give me rest. God is greater, greater than my feelings. He knows everything. Everything God is greater, greater than my feelings. He knows everything, He knows everything. You know when I'm lonely, you know when I'm sad. I know, and then you are with me. Yeah, you are with me. You know when I'm worried, you know when I'm mad. I know, and then I can trust. You will give me rest. Great job worshiping. Let's take a seat and focus on our video for today. Many years ago, King David died, and his son Solomon became the new king. One night, God came to Solomon in a dream. God said, ask for anything you want, and I will give it to you. Solomon was a very young king. He was only 20 years old. He knew that he would have to make lots of hard decisions as king. Since Solomon wanted to be the best king possible, he prayed and asked God to make him wise and to be able to know what to do in any situation. That way he could be a good ruler. God was very pleased that Solomon had asked for this. Solomon could have asked for anything, gold, silver, to have great hair, to be a member of a band, anything. But he didn't. Solomon asked for wisdom. God told Solomon, I will make you wiser than anyone who ever lived. After praying and asking God for wisdom, King Solomon became well known for it. People would travel from all over to seek his advice. One day, two women came to Solomon with a really serious problem. One of the women had a baby. Each woman said that the baby was hers. They each claimed that the other woman was lying. How was Solomon supposed hmm. to decide who the real mother was? Solomon knew that God had answered his prayer, giving him wisdom, and he knew how to solve this problem. While the women were arguing, Solomon said, let's cut the baby in half. That way, each of you can have part of him. One woman agreed to this plan, but the other woman did oh, not. No. She was even willing to give up the baby instead of cutting it in half. Solomon knew that the woman who wanted the baby to live was the real mother. When people heard of Solomon's decision, they knew that he was the wisest man in the world. Solomon got his wisdom from God. Since God promises to hear our prayers, God was able to give Solomon more wisdom than anyone on earth. Whoa, what a cool video. We hope that you learned something fun and interesting and you can take it home to share with your friends and family. We hope to see you next time here at Connect Kids. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.